In this video, I'm going to show you how to take common muriatic acid that you can get at the home store and then dilute it down to the same hydrogen ion concentration or acidity as common vinegar that you could get anywhere. So why would you want to do that? We were faced with a situation where we have a horse barn and we wanted to clean it and we've been buying vinegar from the store that of course is food grade and is distilled and is meant to be used in cooking. And we were using it for cleaning which can get, get expensive if you're buying, you know, 10, 20 gallons of this stuff. So I asked myself, is there a way to take muriatic acid and then dilute it down to the same concentration as vinegar? And the answer is yes, you can. It just takes a little bit of calculation, which I did at the end of this video. If you're interested, you can fast forward to that point. But it turns out only 1.5 milliliters of muriatic acid diluted into one gallon of water which would get you the same acidic concentration as common acetic acid, which is what is in vinegar. So again, the purpose of this video is not to substitute vinegar in terms of any sort of food product because this is only meant for cleaning and it can certainly save you a lot of money because after all, you're just using it in the case for cleaning and that's it. So before we get started, uh, safety is paramount. I've got my nitrile gloves and I've also got a pair of chemical goggles on currently. I've taken some of the muriatic acid and I put it in a small glass vial. I have a containment area just in case there's a spill. And so all you have to do is take your water. Now this, this is an old uh, windshield washer jug and I filled it two thirds of the way up with clean water and, uh, and now we're ready to make the dilution. I have a small syringe here and I'm gonna measure one and a half milliliters of the muriatic acid and just put it in. And so here we go. I'm going to measure up to one and a half milliliters, which is where it is right now. And then I'm going to insert it in here. And that's it. So all you have to do now is fill it, fill it the rest of the way with water and it'll uh, disperse and get you the same concentration. So once again, this is not meant to be used in any, any sort of food situation, just strictly for cleaning. So it turns out a little bit of muriatic acid can go a long way. I hope this video helps you as well. And if you're interested in the technical dissertation, uh, you can watch the rest of it. Thank you. So the purpose of this video is to show you how to calculate and dilute muriatic acid to the equivalent hydrogen ion concentration of common vinegar. So to find this proper dilution, a couple things we have to do. The first calculation is to find the hydrogen ion concentration for muriatic acid, otherwise known as HCl, per standard unit volume. We're gonna do the same thing then uh, for the hydrogen ion concentration for common vinegar. And once we have those two, we can develop a ratio. So that way we know how much muriatic acid we need to dilute with water to get the equivalent concentration as common vinegar. All right, so the first step, uh, for muriatic acid, let's start there. Um, so muriatic acid, or HCl, by its label at 20 degrees C, is about 31.45% HCl by mass. Once you have that, you use the HCl density at 20 degrees C, which is 1.157 kilograms per liter. And at 31.45%, if you multiply those two together, uh, you get 363.9 approximately grams per liter of HCl at this concentration at this temperature. And there's a couple of references there where I got these numbers from. Next, um, we wanna take the molecular mass of HCl, which is 36.46 grams per mole. And then using that with our previous calculation in the numerator, you take one and divide by by the uh, molar mass, 36.46 grams per mole, you get approximately 10, let's say, moles per liter of HCl. So our conclusion is that the hydrogen ion concentration for muriatic acid is about 10 moles per liter. So we're gonna park this number and we're gonna come back to this when we do our ultimate ratio at the end. But just as a side note, uh, you know, HCl is a strong acid. So we're assuming that it has 100% disassociation of its hydrogen ions. And this assumption is merely because HCl is a strong acid. Um, 
to, to do the same thing you're going to see in this next couple slides that for uh, a weaker acid like uh, acetic acid vinegar, you have to use a quadratic equation because there's a weak dissociation. We have to use a dissociation constant. And not to get ahead of myself, let's go take a look at that next. All right. So for vinegar, uh, common distilled vinegar that you get at the store is 5% acetic acid by volume. And, uh, you know, that means that, that for uh, one liter, 50 milliliters is acetic acid. So, so that's just the 5% that we're using. So the density of acetic acid at 25C is about 1.05 grams per milliliter. So it follows then that uh, we have 52.45 grams per liter of acetic acid uh, as, as, as a number that we're going to use in the next step. So one mole of acetic acid has a mass of 60.05 approximately grams. And at 52.45 grams per liter, which is what we had in the previous slide, multiplied by for every mole, you have 60.05 grams. Therefore, we get about 0.873 moles per liter of acetic acid. So the disassociation constant for acetic acid at 25C is 1.75 times 10 to the minus 5. That was just looked up. And we need this again, as I mentioned before, because acetic acid has a weak disassociation. And so because of that, we have to dive into a quadratic equation. So hopefully that doesn't scare too many people. Uh, we're going to just use this to find what the hydrogen ion concentration is for this weak disassociation. So pushing ahead here, uh, our weak disassociation in this quadratic equation relationship uh, turns out to be this. And so the, uh, the disassociation constant is on the left side of this equation. On the right side, x squared over 0.873 moles per liter minus x. Now the x represents the hydrogen ion concentration. Now looking at this, you can see that it's not in standard polynomial form because we need to do that if we're going to use the quadratic equation. So we're going to move the denominator on the right side of this equation multiplied by the left side of the equation and then move x to one side so that we put it into standard form. And so here it is in standard form. You get x squared plus 1.75 times 10 to the minus 5x minus 1.528 times 10 to the minus 5 equals 0. So the coefficients a, b, and c there, of course, in front of x uh, is a 1, and it doesn't show because it's a 1. And then our b factor is 1.75 times 10 to the minus 5. And, and of course, we have our c factor as the constant minus 1.528 times 10 to the minus 5. So taking those coefficients and putting them into a quadratic equation solver online is what I did next. And um, that gave us an X, which is, of course, the hydrogen ion concentration of 3.9, almost exactly, times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter. And that's what it's going to be for acetic acid. So our conclusion after all that was the hydrogen ion concentration for common vinegar, 5% acetic acid, is 3.9, approximately times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter. So now that we have both of these concentrations, we can go ahead and put, put together our concentration ratio, okay? So one with respect to the other. So in the numerator, we have our muriatic acid concentration, and then in the denominator, what we just calculated for vinegar. And so doing that ratio, you see that you get 2,562.5 of muriatic acid to vinegar in terms of the hydrogen ion concentration. That's a huge number. So in other words, basically what we're saying is one gallon of muriatic acid can be diluted down with 2,562 gallons of water to get the equivalent amount of concentration of vinegar. That's huge. So if we kind of flip this on its head, we can say that it doesn't take a heck of a lot of muriatic acid, just a feeble amount in a gallon of water to get the equivalent hydrogen ion concentration of vinegar. So you can go a long way with one gallon of uh, muriatic acid if your goal is to just get the equivalent concentration of vinegar. So let's kind of flip this on its head and figure out how much that is. 
So how do we dilute muriatic acid if we had one gallon of water and we wanted to get the equivalent hydrogen ion concentration of vinegar? Yeah, so that's my question right there. And so one gallon is about 3,785 milliliters. So if we just do a quick calculation, uh, that ratio, one gallon of muriatic acid to 2,562 and a half gallons of water gives us about 1.5 approximately, just under 1.5 milliliters of muriatic acid needed to put into one gallon of water. So that's a tiny amount of muriatic acid. And if you're not into the metrics, let's go ahead and, and put this in more kitchen terms, if you will. Uh, so our conclusion is 1.477 milliliters is almost exactly 0.3 teaspoons. So 0.3 teaspoons of muriatic acid dumped into a gallon of water is all you need to get the equivalent hydrogen ion concentration as a standard gallon of vinegar that you get at the store. Not much is needed. And if you have a gallon of muriatic acid, boy, it would take you a, a long time to uh, continuously dilute that down uh, to an equivalent concentration of hydrogen ions in a gallon of vinegar. So I hope this, uh, these calculations helped you out in understanding what to do. And I had fun calculating them. And I hope that uh, you can take this the next step. Thank you very much.